old. We just throw out the numbers. We don't care. Hey, welcome. <laughs> 17. Yeah, bingo. Hey, welcome back to Travel Show Live. Well, listen, it, the, the reality is it is a live program, okay? That's what, that's what we're talking about. Now, if you're watching it during the week, we produce the program on Sundays from 5 until 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, and then we replay it during the course of the week because we go out there and actually travel. See, we're travel people that actually go places, and we make videos of where we go. Sometimes we write travel logs or we'll take stills so that you can uh, make a better decision when it comes to where to go, what to do, and where to stay on your next vacation. See, I rehearsed that during the break. That's not fair. I give it about a six, but whatever. No, 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 no. I don't need that. Andreas Frizzoni is here, thank goodness, here to talk Geneva. Hello, sir. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Eric. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for inviting me and uh, giving me the opportunity to present my city, Geneva. Uh, it is my pleasure. And uh, you have a very pretty city to present. Oh, I do. I love my city. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, um, you can access the city very easily from New York because there is this Swiss airline company who's uh, flying every day to Geneva. Continental Airways also is flying to Geneva. So it's an easy um, a destination to access I think from that's New the, York. I appreciate you bringing that up first because that's going to be one of the first things people are going to say, especially to that first time visitor, saying, you know, I don't know exactly how to get there. If we can, why not take Swiss International Airlines? That's, you know, your Swiss experience should start Right here in New York, right? Yeah, absolutely, Eric. And you know what? Once you're uh, at the airport in Geneva, mm -hmm. well, then you will receive a uh, free transportation card that you can use during your whole stay in Geneva. Mm -hmm. And so every uh, transport will be free, uh, buses, trams, uh, uh, even boats, train. Everything is really free. And the, from the airport to go downtown, it, it will take you only 20 minutes. So it's very oh, wow. easy and it's not complicated and you will arrive at your hotel very safely and uh, free of charge. Mm -hmm. I, I like that and it's you know one of the things and I, I apologize that I didn't come to Geneva on my last trip uh, to Switzerland but I'm going to next year I oh, promise yeah. I am okay uh, because I'm serious why are you <laughs> laughing I am because I it was one of the cities that I was sad that we had to miss because you know you have to pick you know we have to be there for a certain amount of time we so on this trip we're going to uh, for somebody that's been in other parts of the country that have not been to Geneva, to Geneva. What's the, yeah what's the what are they gonna find different well it's a very romantic city huh? Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because you have all the Alps, either the Swiss Alps or the French Alps that you can see from the city. You have the lake, you have the countryside. Mm -hmm. The city is very small. There are only 200,000 people living. So it's a very, very romantic and peaceful city, very safe. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you have ex to experience. How long should we stay, in your opinion, for somebody coming for the first time? Oh, I would suggest a week. A week really? will be absolutely perfect. Yeah. Because what you can do also is to stay in Geneva and then make excursions in the city, in the countryside, mm -hmm. or go to France, because France is very close to Geneva. It's like a half an hour driving distance, oh, that's right. and uh, uh, you don't need a visa. Every everything is open. Mm -hmm. So a week will be perfect to uh, uh, visit Geneva and its area. And use it as a, as a little bit of a hub and spoke sort of situation. Absolutely. It's a hub to the mountains, French or Swiss mountains. It's a hub to the rest of Switzerland or to, to France. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, it's a hub. Uh, how about a language barrier? Oh, we speak French yes. and English also. Oh, good, that's so, helpful. Because uh, <laughs> the Americans, I don't know why we haven't managed to get it together with the languages. No, but. that's not a problem. I mean, you can go everywhere in, in restaurants, in shops, and uh, ev everyone understands uh, English. So. Uh, and, uh, it's not a concern. It's not a problem. Not what, a problem. When absolutely. people visit and they come back, what are the what are they most surprised by when they visit Geneva? In your opinion? Oh, by the size, by short distances. Uh, shopping is you can do shopping uh, just by walking you can visit the whole city just walking mm -hmm. so I think it's more the size and uh, uh, yeah small distances and the nature also the the air is very fresh mm -hmm. uh, this sort of thing yeah that's very helpful and it's myswitzerland.com right myswitzerland.com and uh, for Geneva it's uh, Geneva slash tourism dot ch oh, well that's pretty easy you've made it easy thank you for this thank you Eric. I really appreciate you come back anytime Okay, thank you so right. much. Now, do you live in Geneva or do you live here now? Where, where are I you live based? in Geneva. You do? I'm based in Geneva, yes. All right, yes, do you miss yeah. it already? No, not at all. No. No. <laughs> not so <laughs> much. Nice. Well, it's nice to have you. You can come back anytime you're in the city. Will you? I appreciate it. Thank you, Eric. And we'll see you in your city next year. Thank you. All right, sir. We'll continue on Travel Show Live. Be right back. Hang on.